right, thanks for joining us today on another uh, video here. Today we're gonna uh, discuss how to terminate camera wires. So, if you've ever done uh, installation of camera systems, there's really two types, right? There's uh, co HD over coax, and there's traditional and then not traditional. And there's IP cameras. So IP cameras work off of a Cat5 or Cat6, you know, network cable. And HD over coax works off of RG59 uh, Siamese cable. So RG59 Siamese cable is this kind of cable here. It's where you have your RG59 for video, and you have your red and black for your positive and negative power. So this takes power to the camera, which splits off to a power supply, and this goes into the back of the camera and the back of the MVR. I mean, DVR, sorry, digital video recorder, because this is analog. So this is the older way to do it. This is what the cable looks like, the connector, the RG59 connector looks like once you have it on. So this is for HD over coax cameras, which is uh, the old analog technology. Actually, it's still very useful, and we still use this, because if you have longer camera one runs, you can accomplish uh, up to three times as long as a camera run using coax cable versus using a, a Cat5 or Cat6 cable. So if you have, uh, you know, camera runs that are over 328 feet, which is the max distance you can do on a Cat5 cable or Cat6 cable, um, then you can switch to this RG59 cable and then you can take it like, I think it's 1200 feet or something like that, or up to 1500 feet. So, and because of all the, the new technology, you can still get the same video quality over HD over coax as you can over a network cable now, which it hasn't always been that way as to, uh, except for maybe the last couple of years. So how do you terminate an RG59 cable? And how do you terminate a uh, Cat5 or Cat6 cable, right? So, uh, so that's how you do, that's for the HD over coax. This is, of course, your normal standard network cable, uh, Cat6, which works for IP cameras. As an IP camera, you do PoE, power over Ethernet. So power comes through, video comes through, everything comes through one feed. You don't have to take one wire instead of a pair of wires. So I'm going to have Brian go ahead and uh, demo how to do this and what tools you need and things like that. And then he'll crimp on his. And then I'll go ahead and show you how to crimp on one for these RG59 connectors. So Brian's going to go ahead and uh, show you what we got on the Cat6 uh, cable. All right, um, so start out, you obviously need the wire that you're gonna be using, and then uh, you're gonna need the tool, obviously. Uh, what we use is a three-in-one tool uh, by Klein Tools. It has the cutter stripper, the crimper, and also has a layout on how you need to set up the wire in order to crimp it into. Also, real quick, we're using pass-through connectors. So whenever he sets the wire up like this, uh, there's some, the older type, uh, you put on the connector and then you trim off the outside of it and you have to get the length of it just right so they line up and butt up against the connector right. If you have a pass-through connector, it literally passes through and when you crimp it, it cuts off the end for you and does everything. So we're using a pass-through uh, pass connector. Sorry, I just want to make sure it's clear on that. Go ahead. All right, so first thing you want to do with the wire is strip it. So we're going to put it into the part that says strip on the tool. We don't want to cut it and then just kind of rotate it around because you want to just make sure you get it all around and, pull, and then show you your wire so what you want to do is kind of spread it all out here because we're going to unravel all of that uh, this little guy right here that's just extra fluff there so we want to chop that up cutters right here yeah they usually have like a little plastic line or uh, a thread in there that you can pull and it kind of opens up the wire and so that you can open it up and spread them out. He doesn't need that, so he's just cutting it off. So then you go into unraveling all of this. It takes a minute. And I don't do Cat5, Cat6 very often, that's why I have him doing it. But uh, he's what, if you notice there, you've got uh, four colors, blue, brown, orange, green, and there's a solid of each color and then a striped of each color. And that's what this lays out for, which he'll show you here shortly, which is separating them right now because you have to get them all separated and then straight because they're real thin so you got to get them all the little waves out of it. So what we usually do is just take like a screwdriver or something and just put the wire up against it, pull it, makes it all nice and straight for you. And you just go around doing that to all of them until you eventually get them all done and then 
And then from this point, that's where you want to go with the diagram here. Um, we'll have Randall put up, put up a little, little picture there for you. That way it's a big one for you. Um, but the, the there's two types of doing it. Um, there's the T568B and then the T56A. Um, the A version is more of the newer version that I've read. Um, and the B version is more of the older, but it's most commonly used. Um, so we're going to go with the B version since that's the most commonly used. Um, it says to start out with the orange, and you always want to go stripe solid, stripe solid. So orange stripe, orange solid, right? Yep. Definitely stripe your solid. Gotcha. And what he means by that is he's laying them in that order side by side like this, all separate together. So they can slide right in the section. It's kind of harder, harder than it looks, actually. It takes a little bit of time to get it because of all the waviness in them. Once you get it all together like that, um, what we typically do is just nip the tip of them there so that way they're all even. And we've got a nice even line there. And then we'll take our uh, pass through connector here. like that and then you're just going to want to make sure that that's all nice and straight and then if you have to take it out you know reassemble the wires put it back in a couple of times it might happen the first time doing so but just push them through let's we'll see how it passed through <laughs> that's what it means by pass through the other ones that we kind of get to the end you just got to get it to bed up and trim it all off but this one allows you to pass it through and it takes care of it and before you even crimp it down you want to make sure that all the colors stayed in the same sequence as you slid it through because sometimes they might swap over and be misaligned in there and you'll have a misconnected wire. So we're just going to make sure that all of them are in the same way as the guidelines there. And then seeing that they are, then we put it into the crimper. And obviously, square hole. Mm -hmm. so In doing so, it'll chop off all the excess, and then there you go. You have a fully terminated Cat 6 cable. Cool. All right. So that's how you do Cat 6, right, for IP cameras, because you have PoE and video across that, that line. So everything comes across that one line. Now, this is RG59. This is called Siamese wire, OK? You have the RG59 coaxial cable, and then you have your positive and negative wire. This cuts off and goes to a power supply. This side goes uh, into the DVR for the video feed. On the opposite side, this goes to the camera, and then this gets tied in with a pigtail to power up the camera. So I'm not going to do the, the positive and negative side. You just strip that wire and put it on. So that's easy. I'm going to show you how to terminate the RG59. So how I do it. Is I'll go back about a little over an inch, probably about an inch and a quarter, and then I'm just gonna slowly bite in and turn the wire as I do it, like that, and then lightly do that as I turn right, just so I can get that all ready to come off. And I'm just making sure that it separates here. There it goes. And then I just gotta work that end of the cable off. Sometimes I can I have to grab it and pull it off. It is already pretty tight. See how that slid off there? Okay, so you have your shielding around it now. So this right here is a little connector pack. Take that off. You have two pieces. This piece, the main piece, and then the little shielding that you crimp. So if you pay attention, you have a tapered end, a thinner end, and a wider end. Put the thinner end down first. Go just like that. After you do that, you want to pull a couple wires up. And then what you're going to do, um, I know this is going to be a little wrong. I'll have to trim it back, but I have, I have to kind of judge that once I get closer. So for now, the next thing I'm going to do is, I know this is a little long, so I'm just going to take a hair of it off. Turn about there. Then I'm going to push this down, all this shielding down. Okay. There you go. Now all you have is this little foamy kind of cover and a real good pitch right there in the center piece of thin uh, brass wire right down the middle of it. See that? And then you have this foam layer around it. So what I'm going to do is I have to, 
here's the connector so I can show you. I have to get it to where this butt butts up against the foam where the point is exposed and the point goes inside of there and the foam butts up to it at the end. So I'm gonna come here and do the same thing. I'm gonna give about I don't know, a quarter of an inch right there, maybe a little less than a quarter of an inch. And I'm just gonna go lightly and take this foam cover off so that I expose just, just the, uh, the brass wires, yeah. Copper wire, I don't wanna call it brass, copper wire. Um, use the keys. So anyway, and then what I'll do is I'll usually hold it up like that and say, okay, well it has to butt up against that white there. And the point, I probably need to trim a little off. So what I'll do is I'll take a hair back and then I'll slide this on and see where it ends up at, which I know I'm gonna have to cut back more, but just to show you. I'll be like, okay, pop that in. That's it all okay. okay. For some reason that was right, there it goes. And you see that gap right there? That lets me know I need to cut it back some more. So I'll pop that out, probably take a little less than a quarter off inch. And then if I put that on, you can feel it pop into place. And then it snugly fits right up against that. I feel it can't go any farther and it's butted up. So it's not just sticking out there flimsy on a piece of copper, right? I have it where it's butted up to that white piece right there. I'll just zoom in on that. And once I have that in place, then I'm gonna hold the connector here. I'm gonna kind of push the copper up, the copper shielding and then slide this over it real tight. So I'm holding the wire, I'm holding the connector, and I'm sliding it all the way up to where it's tight and there's no separation. And I'm holding it tight right here together so it's not gonna move, there's no separation. This is the crimper that I have. It's called Ideal. Ideal is the brand. You notice there's three different sizes of hexagons here. The middle one I use to, cr uh, to crimp the top, the smallest one I use to crimp the bottom. Okay, so the middle one for the top, I'm gonna come up here. And I'm holding this all secure, tight. Let's crimp down, you can see right there. And then I'm gonna take the smaller one and I'm gonna line it up with the other. And then just crimp it like that. And voila. This doesn't matter, this is just gonna sit all there. So now it's nice and tight and then you gotta come off. Um, and it has that spring-loaded kind of front that turns. So that's an RG59 connector. And usually I'll take some electrical tape and just tape it around just to make sure. But um, anyway, RG59, Siamese cable, Cat6 cable for IP cameras, analog cameras. Um, if you know how to crimp these, then you know how to terminate camera wires. I don't think there's any other camera wire I can think of. So if you know how to do this, then you're in business. So anyway, hopefully this has been useful to you. Hopefully you learned something. Um, we appreciate the support as always as the channel grows. Uh, don't forget we're on all the social media platforms, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Subscribe, like, follow, everything, all of the above. Thanks for the support and uh, we appreciate it as always.